I, I guess we got confirmation uh, that Army Private Bradley Manning has been assured he will receive gender reassignment surgery while in prison, uh, his lawyer said late Tuesday. Manning, convicted in the massive leak of national security secrets that propelled WikiLeaks to prominence, is serving a 35-year sentence at the Army's prison at Fort Leavenworth, Kansas. He is eligible for parole in about six years. What kind of fucking shit is that? He, he's ready for... He's serving a 35-year prison sentence, but he's ready... Eligible for parole in about six years. That's, uh, that, that blows my mind. That's pretty fucking insane. Wow. It's all blowing my mind, actually. Like, you're in fucking prison, and, you, and the taxpayers are paying for your fucking sex change. Well, yeah, I mean, there's that as well. Um... It, uh, it goes on to say, Manning ended a hunger strike that began last week after receiving assurances that the government would provide the surgery, said Chase Strangio. Um, so he went on a hunger strike. Yeah, so I guess uh, he was like, hey, I want the government to pay for this fucking sex surgery, and uh, if you don't, then I'm going to go on a hunger strike. And he started that last week. And then I guess on Tuesday, he stopped it because the government said, yeah, okay, we'll do it. You know, you know what happens when my kids threaten me with a hunger strike? All right, fucking starve. Exactly. Yep. Um, in April, Manning, uh, I guess, uh, said that he, he wanted the surgery to go from male to female. Uh, no timeline has been set for the surgery. Manning will meet with his doctors in the next week or two. Manning sued for access to hormone treatment, and the Army agreed to provide it uh, last year. In July, the Pentagon repealed its ban on allowing transgender troops to serve. It also announced that it would begin medical treatment for transgender troops, including reassignment surgery. There are between uh, 1,320 and 6,630 transgender troops in active duty force of 1.3 million. That's, that's a big fucking gap. Like, you would say, well, there's between 1,000 a, a, a and 2,000 people. When you say there's between 1,000 and 6,000 fucking people, that's, that's a big fucking gap. How about you narrow your numbers down? Um, and them numbers are according to Rand Corp, which conducted a study for the Pentagon on the issue. Uh, of those troops, Rand estimates that between 30 and 140, again, they're crazy fucking numbers, would like to seek hormone treatment. And 25 to 130, oh my God, uh, would seek surgery. The estimated annual price tag is between 2.4 and $8.4 million per year. So if you just take the fucking average uh say about five and a half million dollars per year to fucking do all this shit that's five and a half million dollars that could go towards your training or equipment or fucking something but congress always says that the mill you know there's no room in the military budget but yet they could find room for this training. oh i know right Oh shit! Something. Oh, I just oh, there we go. Man. Now, my, here's my other thought. Like with Manning, you know, when he, he went to trial before that, I well, of course that was before. Don't you know? Was it the Don't Ask, Don't Tell, or whatever? Yeah. Um, I think. I, I personally find it kind of, uh, I want to say coincidence or convenient. Like after all this trial, and all the trials or whatever that he came out like this. Well, no, I mean, he already said, uh, like, during his trial and all that kind of shit. Oh, he did say this? Yeah, he, he already said that... Um, I can remember. Like, I, from what I can remember, uh, he said the reason he leaked all the, the shit... Well, I can't remember if, if it was the official thing or if it was an unofficial thing, but the reason he leaked all this shit was to show his undying love and devotion to um, some dude... He, he wanted to fucking date or something. I, I don't know. Some shit like wow. that. Wow. Yeah. It was, uh, it was ridiculous. Um, but yeah. yeah. 
So uh, treatment, uh, like I said, treatment is, is estimated to cost as much as $50,000 per service member. Treatment generally moves from counseling to hormone therapy and it's relatively rare cases, gender reassignment surgery. A military doctor must deem the treatment medically necessary. So I don't know how the doctor is going to determine if it's medically necessary or not. Very psyche though. Uh, yeah, but even then, um, that's, in my opinion, it's dumb. Like there is no medically necessary uh, arguments for gender reassignment surgery. There, there really isn't, in my opinion. Um, I can understand if you want to be gay, I, I can somewhat, not really, but I got over the fact that people feel that uh, they are the opposite sex. Okay, fine, whatever. Um, but I don't see how it's medically necessary for you to change your sex. And then that brings up another point that the this particular article uh, says right, treatment generally moves from counseling to hormone therapy and in relatively rare cases gender reassignment surgery so maybe it's just me but I take that as uh, you know people go through counseling and, and hormone therapy but they don't go all, all the way and, and do the whole fucking surgery well doesn't that then defeat the whole fucking point that they're trying to make like, if you feel, if you're a dude and you feel like you're a chick or you're a chick and feel like a dude, then go get the fucking surgery. Like, stop beating around the fucking bush. Go go make your point. Go get the fucking surgery. Or are you not getting that because uh, you're just going through a fad, a phase, or fucking, like, what's the deal? Like, go get it fucking done. I, I don't know. Well, John asked, uh, gender reassignment, do they actually cut orders for that? Uh... I think he was paying, like, reassignment orders. <laughs> oh, re <laughs> well, I mean, think of it this way. You know, at what point through this whole process do does a service member then be classified as a female? Um, I know we had spoke about it in the past. Mm -hmm. um, you know, do they then fall under the female PT test? Do they then transition to his female barracks, living quarters, showers? Uh, you know, at what point do they move from the male stuff to the female stuff? Um, and if they're moved to like the female barracks and, and afforded all the female stuff, um, but they're not changed to the female PT uh, standard, then isn't that in itself, um, fuck, what's the word? Um, um, Ah, like going against them, like mistreatment, fuck, well, discrimination. There you go. Isn't that discrimination? Like, well, you moved. All, I can do all the female shit, but you're not letting me do that. You're discriminating against me because I'm I'm a female or I'm no right. longer a man. So I, I see a lot of fucking issues with this. Like a lot of fucking issues. Well, I agree, but you know, at the end of you know, of a PT test, it's not based on your if you got a dick or 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 a cunt. Um, it's, I mean, it's all genetics, like your DNA. It's like, I mean, obviously right. a dude is going to be able to do more push-ups than a chick. And then if you got, like, well, we were on this topic, you know, when they came out with the hormone therapy and we were talking about this. And at the same time, there was that uh, male athlete that ran on the women's yeah. team. And In the other team got shit. pissed off because he beat the other chicks. Well... He didn't beat <laughs> he didn't beat all the other chicks. Like there were still chicks that fucking beat him. Um, but I mean, but it's still you know they right. were upset that he actually. <laughs> oh yeah, it's it's, it's, it's fucking better. ridiculous. But I think you hit the nail on the head. It's all about genetics. Um, you know, people say that they truly do feel that they should be a woman or should be a man, whatever the case it is. Um, is that then? just messed up brain chemistry is that something in their dna that we haven't discovered that actually makes them feel that way is it like something firing in the brain because i mean 
I, what, what is it? Only like 10%, 15% of the brain has, has even been discovered as far mm-hmm. as what we know and how, how it works and shit. So is it something in there that we haven't discovered yet that makes them feel a certain way or I, I, I don't know. I don't know. But regardless, mm-hmm. it's definitely a mental condition. Because your genetics, uh, your DNA determines what sex you are, whether you're male or female. So by that standard, you are whatever your DNA says you are. Now, when you feel a different way, that's your brain telling you you feel a, a certain way. That's not your DNA. That's not who you are. The, your brain, I guess, determines your, who you are and your, your personality but your, your DNA is fucking what makes you. Well, I mean, if I kind of look at it this way. They're using Manning as an experiment. Honestly, if, if you kind of look at it. Who, the army is? Or the government, like with him, you know, doing the sex change and with the whole, you know, transgender thing. Transgender, fuck. Transgender thing. I mean, he seems like he's the first person to go through any of this, and they're using. I mean, which is fine if he wants to be, you know, the lab rat of this whole thing. Then, you know, go for it. But I mean, I don't know. You know, I I personally think when it comes to uh, Manning, um, he's a convicted felon. So, therefore, the while he is in prison. He has no fucking rights. Well, I wouldn't say has no rights, but he he doesn't get to fucking have medical shit that isn't life threatening. The the only time you should be afforded uh, medical treatment is if you have a condition that is life threatening or could become life threatening. You shouldn't be able to dictate that you want fucking hormone therapy or you want the sex fucking change or or you want whatever the fuck it is uh you know i i i want a fucking penis enlargement like it, that doesn't none of that shit fucking matters you're in prison for a fucking reason you don't get any of that luxury medical crap that's that's my fucking opinion oh i completely agree too and for him to throw a shit fit and go on a hunger strike oh, i'm not going to eat until you know i get what i want Fuck it, stop. I didn't give a shit.